Hi, this is Sean Lewis from Journeys Worldwide. Today we're going to be talking with James and Louise from Subsurface Scuba. They do dive Sunshine Coast and they're based out of Mooloolaba, but they also do dives from Musa and the Gold Coast. They've got a great team that worked down there with them and we'll be talking about how the dives they go out, how far they go, what they've been seeing down there and also what they've been doing to help with the reef, etc. Right, James and Louise, it's great to see you. Thanks very much for coming on board. I see you've got a great background there. Um, yes, I was at the beach this morning. It looks great, and the weather's still looking good by the looks of it. Yeah. It's beautiful here today. Yeah, we've had a really nice dive this morning as well. Yeah. Very, awesome. very nice. So you guys are running the uh, subsurface scuba, and you, you're based down in Malula Bar. Um, you've got, well, you got dives going out from there, and you've also got Noosa and your Gold Coast as well of it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And um, how's that all? Where do you go to from Malulaba? What's your destination from there? Uh, so Malulaba, we've got quite a few that we sort of go out to. Um, we've got ones that are in close. We've got Old Woman Island, um, which we do some snorkeling and all that stuff around there as well. Um, so it's not just the scuba diving that we do. Um, and we also go, we go as far over as Flinders Reef, um, which is just off of Morton Island. How um, far is that from, from here? That's, that's a big trip. Uh, I think it's about two hours in the boat to okay. go over. Um, but worth it. Yeah, <laughs> when you get over there, it's well worth it. Um, it's incredible reef. Um, lots of turtles, heaps of corals. Heaps of fish. Um, half half the reef is exposed out of the water as well. Um, and then we've also got some deeper sites over there that we go to as well. We've got Cherub's Caves and stuff over there for the guys that want to get in and do some stuff a bit deeper. and More advanced. Yeah. It's really good because we've got a really nice selection here. Um, okay. So like Old Woman Island, we call it also Majimba. Um, literally about 20 minutes drive from here. So we can do either introduction dives there. So people that have never tried diving before um, or even the most advanced people love it there too because it's such a pretty reef. Um, and there's just a gradual wall. So you get all like the turtles for their cleaning station and stuff like that as well. Um, and then the other one, the main one we really go to is Wobby Rock as well. Um, and in the winter we get that with all the sharks. So um, that one is like mainly the gray nurse sharks and they come over and they're super chilled out. It's really, really good. <laughs> we yeah, I've been seeing there. a few of your Facebook posts on the on the reef sharks and it looks just amazing. It, yeah, they're not scared at all, but they're not dangerous either. So they just come up, they like their selfies, I think as well. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough, they deserve it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> no, it's great here. We do, um, we do all the courses as well. So even if you've never tried diving before, you can come with us, no problem at all. Um, and then you can learn all the way up to dive master as well. So we've got a lot of different experiences here too. So it's great for everyone. <laughs> Excellent. And so talking about for everybody, so say like if a family wants to come along and they want to, um, mom doesn't want to, I'm taking a personal scenario here now, mom doesn't want to dive, but dad does. And can she go snorkeling while dad goes diving? Of course, yeah, no, that's no problem. Um, and if you, yeah, if you've got children or, or whatever, then we can do um, the young kids as well. So they can start diving when they're about eight. Um, so they do like a bubble maker program. Um, super, super fun. And they absolutely love it. Yeah, for <laughs> um, sure. And after that, when they're 10, they can actually do their junior open water. And then you can dive as a whole family there as well. Um, and the great thing about our reefs over here is, um, some people go a little bit further down and the others can keep on the actual reef too. So you get a really good mixture from the dive. Like everyone can dive at all of our dive sites. Um, 
So yeah, oh, that sounds fantastic. And, and what is your sort of average sort of length of you know coming out from Malulaba? How far do you normally go on the boat? Not, not if we want to head down to Morton, but what's your your, your uh-huh. ones? How far out do you go on those? Um, it's roughly about 20 minutes from here, um, so it's not far at all. Um, usually with the introduction dives, we just go around the corner of the river that we go out here because it's like a swimming pool condition. Um, so then that's one-on-one. Nice. We do all the skills just on our knees, literally a metre and a half down, um, and then they've also got the anchor line as well. So we can really focus on them. They get really comfortable. Um, so then after that, we get everyone back on the boat and then we go out about 20 minutes. So it's not far at all. Usually calm conditions as well. So it's really nice today. <laughs> well, it, it generally is pretty calm along here. So it's actually great, great along here. And you can do it pretty much year round, can't you? Exactly. Yeah. Um, we just pile on a couple of wetsuits in the winter, but, um, if, as long as you've got your towel and we really recommend the poncho, um, towels because they're really yeah. warm in the middle of the dives and at the end um, but yeah it changes a lot with the life as well so all year is just something different so that's really nice yeah uh, excellent and you're doing night dives as well I see yeah exactly um, especially with the sharks in the winter they're super interesting um, and they're very very attracted to the light so because you got yeah. You know, you've got all your glow sticks and stuff that's over your tanks and you've got all your torches and everything like that and you'd be swimming along and you just see a big big shark you know two three meters just <laughs> comes and <laughs> i think you meant to be trying to make people want to come with you and not just to scare them off <laughs> Dude, it's very very surreal like they're super super placid like they just smile yeah. at you though so yeah. it's all good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, I have been diving with sharks, but not the not the nurse sharks. I've been diving with other just white tip reef sharks and so on, and it, it is quite a quite okay. especially first time. Um, yeah, exactly. You can hold our hands; it's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what species do you see out there? What species of sharks are you seeing? Um, we get the we get the grey nurse, as you said. Um, we get the bull sharks. We get some tiger sharks. Um, we have seen a couple of hammerhead come around um okay. the bronze whalers um They're quite a nice it? diverse uh, sort of range of yeah, species yeah, get, a lot of wobby gong wob- sharks yeah as wobbies well. um okay. you get the occasional leopard sharks and stuff come through and all that as well so mm. and sometimes you even hear like the whales in the winter because they yeah. come through a lot so yeah. even when oh, we're awesome. on the boat you sometimes get like almost like a whale watching at the same time um and then you can hear them oh it's it's really it's like finding nemo it really is <laughs> <laughs> that sounds excellent and then the other thing that you do because um am i right that your dad started this james so uh, you're the business some quite some years ago by the sounds of it yeah yeah so my old man started it um it's very much a family run business um i'm in the process of sort of starting to take over everything now he's you know starting to get a bit older now and you yeah know, to him the other day and he said yeah he's 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 wanting to bow out he's you know giving it up to the yeah yeah he's, he's, he's still he's still still very much definitely a part of it he's out on the boat every day he comes out and drives the boat and you know still still loves to get out there but you know just wants to be able to take a step back and you know, having having two young kids that, that he's got as well, um, and then you know I had I had my daughter up um, just over the school holidays as well, so she's eight and out on the boat and coming snorkeling and doing all that sort of stuff with us as well. So it's it's mm-hmm. definitely very very family oriented. Very much a family affair, and and yeah, yeah and then you've been going a while, which just shows that you you got a good you got a good reputation out there as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's no, excellent. And uh, something else they started was the reefing team, which you're continuing with and is actually getting bigger and better by the sounds of it also. Yeah, yeah. So my old man and um, uh, another guy up here, Sam Coward, um, they both started the reef clean team with um, so with my sister and with Sam's daughter, Poppy, and yeah, my sister, Alexis. They, they all sort of started it and were wanting to you know get in and clean up the reefs and try and get rid of... Some of the rubbish you know a lot of the stuff from fishing boats and people fishing losing fishing rods and 
all sorts of stuff like that. Um, you know, we found spear guns, car batteries, mattresses, ropes, like fishing line, hooks, sinkers, lures, all that sort of stuff. So um, a lot of anchors as well. Um, you know, people out fishing and can't get up their anchor, so they just cut them off and yeah, leave it there. So <laughs> we, it's a shame. Uh, but it's a, yeah. it sounds like a good job that you're getting done there, though. Yeah. And how does that work? Because I see you can have like a subscription base where people can pay a certain amount uh, per year or whatever, and then they join in, they come in and join you with that going out. And yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so it's 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 all non for profit. So it's basically they they pay their membership stuff to to join and come out and just be a part of it, come out diving, and yeah, it, it covers all the expenses and stuff to to get out and yeah, come and come and help clean up the reefs. A bit of a cheaper dive, but helping out at the same time yeah yeah that's right yeah oh that's awesome yeah <laughs> and so you are if people are wanting to operate if they're wanting to go from the gold coast or from noosa etc you're able to do that with them as well yeah that's right yeah so we've got we've got a couple of boats um we've got our main boat that's in at malulaba it's too big to get out of the water um so it's a big cat style boat um, that, that stays here. So we're just out the back of Pier 33 where we are at the moment and got the marina here. So we've got everything here, you know, hot showers and all that sort of stuff that we can use afterwards and toilets and everything else. So everyone can get cleaned up and comfortable after their dive. And we do a barbecue and stuff afterwards as well. So it's sort of, you know, you get, get some snacks and drinks and stuff while you're out for your dive. And then we come back in and all hang out for a while and have a barbecue and sort of, you know, try make and make it bit of a social it. event. Yeah, that's Sounds right. Fantastic. You know, we'll, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's it's good to you know talk about the dive with everyone and you know yeah see, yeah. see all their smiles and how happy everyone is and you know not just all right thanks for coming get off the boat see you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, a, it's an experience and you know you want it to be a good one that that you're going to remember and want to come back and do it again. Well, certainly looking at all the clients that have been coming off of it, there's a, definitely a lot of smiles going on around there. So yeah. <laughs> coming off. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's excellent. James Louise, thanks very much. We've been talking with James and Louise from Subsurface Scuba. With the Dive Sunshine Coast team, they've got a great diversity of options. They're based mainly, mostly out of Malulaba, but they will do also Noosa and the Gold Coast. And we're looking forward to being able to catch up with them again sometime soon. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you next week.